Hey air signs, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bami Spirit. I'm Rodin. So we're going to go ahead and do your March crystal healing video for Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. For those who are not used to these videos or used to my channel, those of you who are very new, the way this works, I basically, it's like, where did that book go? I pull cards from the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of March. And then I go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see why you need those crystals. No matter how many times I've done these videos, I always read the descriptions of these crystals. I do that so that you guys can decide for yourself if you really need them uh these wait a minute huh, okay oh sorry guys <laughs> it's like, oh yeah duh, i'm still recording uh i got a lot going on right now so i just thought i had an important call but it was not okay so no we're good anyway so where was i no matter how many times i do these readings i always read the descriptions of the crystals because Honestly, these are very, very general and they are not going to be for everybody. And it's up to you to decide if it's resonating with you. It's up to you to decide if these messages are for you and if you actually need the crystals. No reason to go out and buy crystals if you really don't need them or if you feel like you don't need them. Sometimes you can also just take the message for what it is and be like, okay, that's what's going on. I can handle it without crystals. Also, this is not a comprehensive deck of crystals either. I like, I really like the Crystal Bible book, actually. I think there's a second edition as well. A ton of crystals in there and guys when it comes to crystals there are a lot of crystals that can help you with the same ailment or same situation we all have very different frequencies which is why I always encourage you to go out and seek your own crystals and if you're going to buy them then I recommend you do it in person so that you can decide what crystal within what you're looking at really resonates for you okay so that being said let's just go ahead and dive into this so who's gonna go first Gemini Aquarius or Libra <sighs> Oh, all of you feel so different. <laughs> that normally doesn't happen. Normally you guys feel, you know, like you're dealing with the same stuff relatively. You guys feel very different. Gemini's, you're feeling fluffy. I don't know. That's so weird. Fluffy's coming to me. You're feeling fluffy. It feels like a very nice energy. I really like it, to be honest with you. Aqua, you're feeling a little stressed. You're feeling a little stressed. Interesting. I'm just going to show him because I haven't decided on a sign yet. Purple Ray just came out. That's usually for getting rid of some karmic shit. Um, some stuff that's been plaguing you your life or other lives um but you're feeling a little tense aqua i just i'm feeling that you're feeling a little tense libra you feel serious how like cleansing more cleansing and protective energy <sighs> gemini aquarius or libra gemini Aquarius. okay aquarius you're taking the stage all right so aquarius let's go ahead and see what crystals are recommended for you for the month of march yeah you're feeling very stressed mm, a lot of stress a lot of tension agitated uh, uh, it, it, I can't even say it's your emotions are running high it feels like your nervous system is running high yeah that's probably a better way to say that it's not your emotions it's your nervous system is running high in March which I guess would make sense Mercury will be retrograding from Pisces up into Aquarius on the fourth it'll go retrograde into Aquarius and stay there for a little while until it goes direct and then back into Pisces okay so we do have some of your energy going on here in March and it's retrograde energy and it's mercury which is the mind right I feel like it's making your nervous system run very haywire uh, if you're a cusper with Aquarius and Pisces you're probably gonna feel this even more so or if you have Pisces in your chart because we have a lot of Piscean energy we are in Pisces season happy birthday Pisces if any Pisceans are watching uh, also we're in the new moon Pisces um, time period as well okay I'm not gonna take that because there's a lot of cards but and I'm just channeling you guys right now what crystals are best for my aquas for the month of March? I heard calm. Interesting. I heard calm and sight. Calm and sight. Yeah, I just feel like you guys need to calm your nerve. I like it's making me actually very like duh. It's making me run a little like this. Um you guys just need to like find a place, find a place. Oh, interesting. I was gonna say find a way to calm. Maybe you need a little place to calm down. Maybe you need to go away for a day or two or just make a little quiet sacred space for yourself to calm your nervous system i really want to say nervous system i really want to say nervous system with that okay um and sight sight you know anytime your your nervous system is like bleh, uh, <laughs> it's hard to see things clearly too well crystals are best for my aquas for the month of march it's so funny you could always be doing gemini gemini is trying to get my attention as i'm tapping into your energy um if you know any Gemini's Aquas, I suggest you 
put yourself around them more because they feel very warm and fluffy right now. I don't know why they just do. Uh, very like, well, they are like the children of the Zodiac, but they're feeling very warm and fluffy and that could actually help calm you down. But that's interesting. It's like a beckoning of Gemini energy as I'm tapping into you. But you're trying to stay center stage here. What crystals are best for my aquas for the month of March? Look, thank you. Oh, we got turquoise. I like turquoise for you guys. I feel it is actually very good for the nervous system. I don't, I actually personally, I'm not drawn to turquoise. My frequency does not resonate very much with turquoise, but all those blues do kind of remind me of you. Uh, and I'm, I am feeling nervous system with that. And like I said, I always do the descriptions anyway. Um, but I feel like that will help calm you down. Also a lot of third eye energy. I just heard third eye. Um, this could add, oh, your sight. can help you with your sight. What other crystals are good for my aquas for the month of March? Ooh, we got some blue lace agate. Good for that too. Yeah, look at all the blues. Aqua, definitely this is helping you with your third eye. And for some of you, your throat. I don't feel like communication is your problem. I feel like it's the calming your nervous system and being able to have full clarity because your nervous system's haywire. Okay. Let's see what else we have. What other crystals are best for my aquas? Would not be surprised if Aquamarine came out. What other crystals are best for my aquas for the month of March? Oh, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and read these two off. I'll read them in order. Oh, Aqua, calm down. You're giving me anxiety. Turquoise, a copper-based stone attracting good fortune since antiquity. Turquoise was popular for protective amulets sacred to Hathor. <laughs> I feel the need to say that again. Sacred to Hathor, which is Venus, and to Buddha. It linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm. Your pathway is one of self-realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. The frequency of the stone's medium to high, great for the throat and the third eye chakras. Uh, great for Scorpio, Sagis, and Pisceans, and attuning to inner riches. Yeah, Aqua, I feel like you, this is going to help you with your clarity more so than anything, because you could be on the precipice of something big that could also be why your nervous system's running a little high. You could just be having anxiety and stress about something that you want, you're wanting to do um, or something that could be really beneficial for you. But you're, you know, if it's really big and really significant, that can always put a little bit of fear and anxiety into people. And then that could start to really block your, your clarity. I feel like this is really more for your sight than anything else. OK, but really auspicious so far. OK. Now let's read Bluey's Agate. Okay. Blue Lace Agate. Connect spirit with intellect. <laughs> well, that's perfect for you, Aqua. Uh, highlighting integrity and enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is on your mind and heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity. Use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth with integrity and confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open your intuition. <laughs> yeah, just open up your sight, Aqua. Open up your sight and, and stay calm. They keep telling me calm. Your life will be long and happy, except your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension, thyroid deficiencies, and throat or lymphatic infections. The frequency of the stones uh, medium to high, great for the throat, the third eye, and the heart, and the crown. And for Geminis, let's pick it up on Gemini, right? And Pisceans. I really feel it's like for some of you, Gemini is playing a big role in the month of March. So just keep that in mind if you're resonating with any of this, okay? Uh, and great for expressing yourself fully. Yeah, I feel like this is not only, this is really more about your sight more than anything, Aqua, that could be getting a little clouded right now because of your stress or because your nervous system's a little haywire or because you're very aware that big things are coming in for you or that you're about to do something really awesome. But once you have your sight, you'll also be able to just improve your communication and going about that path. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards. And just because this is so much about communication, I'll be using the Honest Truth deck. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? 
Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? One more. Okay. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Why am I hearing earth? I'm literally just hearing earth. I think that's more about some confirmations for you guys, because sometimes when I get it like that, it's like, oh, someone needed that confirmation. Moon in reverse, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Ooh, and then we got the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Make it big. Grand gesture. Okay, Aqua. <laughs> Whatever it is that that uh, you're wanting to do or that you, okay, this is what it is. As you start to get more clarity about what's ahead for you and what you want to do, it's going to be really big. It's going to be something that can elevate your status, elevate your living situation, elevate your money situation. And again, I, I still feel anxiety here. Um, and some of you, this is bringing on some anxiety, okay, because it is really big. Make it big. Make it big. Make it big. Make it big. They keep saying that to me. Make it big. Whatever it is, Aqua, you might, you might, you might want to make it bigger than you're initially thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. This is funny. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Yep, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, stability. Uh, sorry, giving me words, I just gotta say it. Uh, Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. This is building something in the right way, building something stable that will last a long time, building something cautiously, building something cautiously. Once the clarity is in, it's gonna be easy to make these moves. You just gotta calm, 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 calm. They keep telling me calm. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Ooh, five of wands, Leo energy. It's not going to be easy. Not to be a killjoy, but it's not going to be easy. It's not. Um, you might feel like, I don't want to say that people are trying to like steal your thunder, but uh, well, there's a reason I said that. Some of you might feel that way. I just think it's not going to be an easy task, whatever it is, because it seems big. It seems big or it seems like it's a big elevation for you. Again, that whole nervous system anxiety thing's coming in here. Um, be careful of how you handle other people in this. They're talking. They're, my guides are talking to me. Be careful of how you handle other people in this. Like, be very cautious of that. If you're not careful, if you stay really emotionally detached because you're not seeing much, seeing very clearly because your anxiety is getting to you, your nervous system's just running too high, uh, you could burn some bridges, okay? So just be very mindful of that. And that can bite you in the butt here. Yeah. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of March? Six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, a struggle. Yeah, this is not going to be very easy, Aqua. Overall energy, we do a magician in reverse, Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy here. E. Hold on. Inability or shadow? Talking to them. Shadow. Okay. So, Aqua, this is why you need to be careful of how you're dealing with people and who you're dealing with. Um, there's a very shadowy, trickstery energy around all of this, okay? So this could be pertaining to someone that you're coming across your path and what it is you want to build. And that and that could lead to some, to some major obstacles. That could even lead to com competitive energy. That could lead to just fighting and conflict and then a struggle. Okay, I just heard tug, a tug of war. You could also be exhibiting this aqua. So just be very mindful and tap into yourself. And keep in mind, this is mercurial energy. So it could also representing uh, the shadowy side of Mercury retrograding, right? Through, through Aquarius and Pisces, because we're talking about March. Um, yeah, just be, just step carefully. Step carefully and speak carefully. Speak carefully. Speak carefully. They wanted me to say it three times. Speak carefully four times. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, because some of you might actually be falling into this because you're stressed. 
Anytime we're stressed, we can fall into shadowy energy. Others of you are, are actually encountering this energy along your path and whatever it is that you're like, oh, I can make it big. I keep hearing make it big. I can, I can make it big, but you're going to run into some obstacles here. So just go about this cautiously, like the Knight of Pentacles would. Slow is moving night for a reason. Go about it cautiously. Go about it carefully and be careful of, of, your, spe of your speech. Be careful of your speech. I want to look at the five of wands here. I don't normally clarify. Normally I keep these nice and short, but something's telling me to clarify. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. I will do gilded and then we'll move on to another sign. Some of the five of wands. Five of Wands for Aquarius from the March. Time of the Five of Wands for Aquarius from the March. Time of the Five of Wands for Aquarius from the March. You know what this Five of Wands energy is about. By the way, I'm noticing you do have two fives here: the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Indicative of change. Time of the Five of Wands. For Aquarius, for the month of March. Justice, yeah, Libra energy. You know you're on the right path. You know you're doing what's what's in your best interest, but you are meeting some sort of like obstacle, competitive energies, um, some pushback. I'm hearing pushback. Time about five of wands. And it's interesting that I kept I keep saying, you know, be careful of your speech here. And look. Mouth is covered, right? Yeah. Be just cautious here. Time about the Five of Wands for Aquarius in the month of March. I almost feel like the less you say, the better as well. The less you say, the better. Time about the Five of Wands for Aquarius in the month of March. Yeah, Four of Wands, Aries energy. Four of Wands is about stability. It's a foundation that you create. It's also about events or relationships here. Yeah, I feel like it's about your own foundation. It's your own foundation that you're 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 honing in on. That you're improving. I just heard improving. So I'm about the Five of Wands. Oh, so I'm about the Five of Wands. Oh, I just got the chills with that card that just came out. So now we have. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. This is going to be hard. I just heard this is going to be hard. I feel like this is someone you're interacting with, Aqua. You might be coming in as the Knight with really good intentions, but this King, do you see the look on his face? He's feeling a little on edge, feeling a little, he or she, because it's just, it's an energy. We don't read gender, we read energies, right? It's a masculine energy. It's almost like they're feeling a little threatened by this as you come in. It's like... It's, you know, it's a little bit like that. Like you're putting someone on edge with whatever it is you want to do or whatever moves you're making, whatever it is you're saying. So be very, yeah, that's why you need to be careful of your speech because whatever you're saying, this could even be a boss, a coworker, a father figure, um, a friend or lover, what have you. But it's a masculine energy and it instantly puts them on the defensive. Overall energy, we do have judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. What you're doing is the, the exactly the, the right thing. When this card comes out, it's basically a big thumbs up from spirit. Like, yes, please do this. <laughs> yes, yes, keep doing this, keep doing this. You're doing the right thing. You're, you're heading the right direction. You're saying the right stuff. Just be careful of how you're saying it because instantly defensive, okay? All right, Aqua. So let's go ahead. That was for you guys. Let's go to move on to Gemini or Libra. Let's see who's going to grab my attention. So move the cards out of the way. All right. Gemini or Libra, Gemini or Libra. I'm seeing dragonflies, but I haven't decided on a Gemini or Libra yet, but I'm seeing dragonflies. Gemini, okay. Dragonflies are probably for Gemini. So let's go ahead, gems. What crystals are good for my Gemini? So month of March. Comfortable, cozy. Gemini's might be spending a lot of time at home in the month of March. Your your planet, Mercury, is retrograding through Aqu through Aquarius, right? But another sister sign, it's an air sign, but it is your planet. You might be, yeah, you might just be going very hermit right now for the month of March. But it feels good, though. It feels good. Like, it doesn't feel bad at all. It feels very nice. It feels cozy. It feels warm and fuzzy. It feels like you're in a really nice place. Just comfortable. I just keep hearing comfortable 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 the fact that i saw the dragonfly though dragonfly is um it's an intuitive energy 
So you could also be wanting to be a hermit because you're getting a lot of information. You're getting a lot of downloads, a lot of psychic energy, right? You know it's just a, the best thing to do right now is also what I'm hearing, is to kind of be a homebody. It's good for you. You could be doing some healing too. Yeah, some of you are, are being a hermit for healing purposes, but you just feel really good. And, it, you know, why, why mess with a good thing? We might not get that many crystals for you, Aqua. I mean, Aqua. Well, excuse me, Gemini. Yeah, there's something going on with Geminis and Aquas. Something going on there. Uh, Geminis, my Gemmy Gems. They now they're showing me the bear. Bear is an energy of strength. Um, it's an energy of resilience, will. I actually just heard bravery. Is this you or someone else? I almost feel like this is you and another person. Like you're a dragonfly against a bear. Yeah, Geminis, why do I feel like you got something going on with Aqua? Because Geminis, this might also be why you're in hermit mode. You're feeling really good about yourself. You're spending time at home. You're being reflective. Some of you are doing he healing because of this. Some of you guys just need the quiet. Some of you guys just need the space. Um, some of you guys are getting work done. Either way, you're being a hermit. But why do I feel a weird confrontational energy? I, it's not from you at all. You feel really good. It's from whatever this bear energy is. What crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? Ooh, a joint? I think that's how you say that. I am not the greatest at pronouncing crystal names, just letting you guys right now, or goddess or goddess, or goddess gods names either, so forgive me. Um, a joint. I think that's how you say that. A joint. Yeah, I feel like that's about heart healing. I just heard the word angelic. Gemini's, there's something about your energy right now that's very innocent in March. Very innocent, very pure. But you're spending time at home, so I don't think a lot of people are seeing it. If they are, if you if you do go out for, like, groceries <laughs> and then go home and stay home for a few days, it's like people will notice it even in the short time that you're out and about. It's almost like you're purifying yourself. to, but Yeah, like, almost like you're purifying yourself back to, like, a childlike state. It's very attractive. It's very attractive and it makes it's making you feel good. But I do feel like it's also very healing. Healing is a part of it. What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? They keep showing me that damn bear though. I don't like I'm not liking the bear energy. I don't know why it's making it's it's making me go, hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, wait, we're we're doing good here. What's this bear? What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of March? Yeah, Priscilla Bluestone. Yeah, I Geminis, I almost said Aqua again. Geminis, you got some heart healing going on here, okay? But again, it doesn't feel rough. It feels really nice. It feels really good. It feels like like you feel so nurtured right now. And I think a lot of you are just doing that for yourself. I just keep wanting to do this. Like you're in a little like womb. <laughs> yeah, like all this child imagery. Maybe some guys are having children during this time as well, if you're pregnant. Uh, but I just keep wanting to do this. Like you're, I can feel it. You're, there's a lot of nurturing energy and I feel like you're giving it to yourself. Some of you do have some guides, maybe even possibly some angelic healing too that's like helping you do this. It's almost like you're being protected and nurtured to do some major healing here in hermit mode. And for some of you, it might even be like incubating you a little bit to get you ready for something, but it feels really good. It feels really good. So let's go ahead and read these off. Some of you might also um, find that family wants to be around you a lot at this time. Oh, some of you are learning to be nurtured. Interesting. Some of you are learning to allow people to nurture you. And again, I feel like most of you are doing it for yourself. But some of you, maybe for those of you who are older, allowing your family to, to nurture you. Oh, Gemini's. Okay. A joint. Compassionate being. A joint brings about a profound spiritual revelation. Drawing out karmic wounds, this crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts. You are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions, replacing them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path. Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. That might be the bear that's around you. Okay. 
<coughs> excuse me, okay? Detach gracefully and move on. Put down your burdens knowing you are being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion encompass all. I love that phrase. Charity or volunteer work is indicated. Immersing yourself in love of the divine automatically leads to health and happiness. The frequency of the stone is except exceptionally high. Excuse me. Great for the third eye, the crown, the heart, the throat, and the soul star chakras. Great for Virgos and Aquas and keeping an open, compassionate heart. Again, I'm feeling you're in hermit mode, but I still feel a bear around you. you this might be someone that um, you might have to forgive for something or have compassion for, for whatever reason, and it might not be easy, okay? But it feels like you're in a bit of a loving, compassionate, nurtured bubble right now, even if you did it for yourself, all right? Priscelli Bluestone, the inner compass. Priscelli Bluestone's planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. The stone accesses past, present, and future. You are an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. You have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicines for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past, access your memories, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with equanimity. You have power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Being true to yourself is the basis of all well-being, spiritual, and physical. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Great for the Earth Star Chakra and for Taurians, Sagis, and Cappies. And developing a spiritual compass. Yeah, I just feel like you're in a bubble of love and compassion right now. Being nurtured. And you got a bear lurking around, lurking around and, you know, in this being in this bubble might help you to deal with this bear, whoever this bear is. Not all of you have a bear, but some of you do. OK. All right. So let's go ahead, pull some cards. I was going to say pull some crystals. It's funny. I just want to get a little water first. Hmm. OK. Let's use Radiant Wise. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of March? Okay. Why do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh, God, is everyone fighting? Jesus, five of wands, Leo energy. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like there's people around you. Honestly, Gems, this might be, again, this might be why you're bubbling yourself. Drama might be spewing. Drama might be bubbling over, and it's kind, you're kind of like, ooh, you know, I don't think I want anything to do with this. Let me go bubble myself. <laughs> Let me go bubble myself. You might even, uh, blah, 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 excuse me. There might even be conflict that pushes you to that bubble. You might be part of it until you're like, oh, meh, <laughs> bubble time. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of funny. Um, some of you, I feel like it's actually your family. Soul tribe or your actual biological family. People are fighting. I can feel it. I can feel it. People are fighting around you. And again, you might have been part of this. And it's like, it's pointless fighting is also what I'm hearing. It's pointless. Whatever it is, it's pointless. It's probably petty shit. It's probably petty shit. Because if you look closely, all of them are dressed basically the same, holding the same stick. They're all, it's almost like they're all fighting the same battle. But it's like, you know what I mean? God, how do I say this? Like they might all actually agree, but they're not seeing that they agree. I don't know why I'm getting it like that. That's interesting. Yeah, that's this is why it's pointless. It's like they all want the same thing and they don't realize the person they're fighting wants the same thing they do. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, it's interesting. Any other messages for Gemini? Why Gemini's in these crystals for March? Yeah, I feel like you're you're wanting nothing to do with this. I feel like you're retracting your energy from this. Even if you were in the middle of it, I just feel you being like... Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 
Yeah. Empress in reverse. Venusian. So Libra energy, also Taurus energy. Yeah. This is not healthy for you, Aqua. I feel like you're acting as the Empress here. It's not healthy for your energy. You already know it. It, it, it just, it puts you in a bad place. It stagnates you. It makes you unhappy. And I just feel you being like, yeah, no, thank you. Just no. I don't need to do this. I don't need to be a part of this. But as an empress, though. Something else just asked me what that meant. What I said, but as the empress. Empress has been through a lot of shit. Empress is really wise. Also usually is very well taken care of or has some kind of like, uh stability like major stability that can't just be like lost in a night you know what i mean it's like empress is typically high ranking it's like a matriarchal energy right family royalty i don't know why that just came in family royalty why else am i gemini's need these crystals for the month of march oh looky there do we got some secrets on the board oh crap yeah High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. For some, this is family squabble. Honestly, straight up. For some of you, this is just family squabble, and I feel like it's over a masculine energy. It could be over inheritance. Interesting. For some of you, it could be over, be over inheritance from a masculine energy. And then some person is like, I don't want to hear this bickering anymore. I don't want to be part of this fighting. I'm out. Like, bubble, 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 bubble. Bubble. <laughs> right uh, i feel like whatever the drama is it's because of a king of pentacles energy now king of pentacles energy it doesn't have to be a man like i said we read energy we don't read gender this could be a female it's someone who usually runs or manages like a business or a family or a group it's usually someone very managerial someone who likes to like have foundations in place who likes to handle the foundations or even handle money, handle the resources, right? They, this person usually likes to take care of people. I feel secrets around this person, especially with high priest. I don't know why I keep getting this, but like, high priestess, this could, this could also be someone who passed away. High priestess is a very divine, esoteric, cosmic, heavenly, divine energy. This could be someone who's passed in the fight and the family's bickering, okay? So that could be for someone up there. Um, but also for others, I'm feeling like this person, whoever this is, it's secrets around this person or this person has hidden knowledge about something and it's causing some fighting. It's causing some fighting, causing some bickering. And Gemini's, like I said, I feel like this is more you as the Empress, like wanting nothing to do with it. Overall energy. Four of Cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy. Rejection. Rejection. Yeah, Gemini's, I just think you don't want any part of it. And I feel like you're the one who's been like, yeah, I don't need this. I don't need this. It's not healthy. Yeah, I just feel like a major walking away and abandoning a situation because and then bubbling over like oh, it's all this like bubble imagery, right? Like drama bubbles over and then you bubble up. <laughs> you bubble up and you go heal and you feel really good about it. Honestly, that energy I'm feeling from you feels really good. Underneath that, though, we do have the page of cups. So I do feel that, feel that there's apologies that do want to come forward in honesty about whatever is being hidden about this King of Pentacles wants to come out. The truth wants to come out. But yeah, Gemini's, I just feel you bubbling, 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 bubbling okay let's it's funny i was like i don't clarify but i really want to clarify this card let's clarify the high priestess and see what's kind of being kept on the down low here um let me use limited edition lenormand sorry excuse me limited edition lenormand deck all the decks i use are linked below so browse <laughs> you might find decks there i get them all on amazon anyway but i just put them down there for convenience time about the high priestess Time of the High Priestess for Gemini for the month of March. Time of the High Priestess. Oh, this could be money related. The fish with the King of Pentacles. The King of Diamonds is the King of Pentacles, which we have right here. Uh, 34, break it down to a seven. That's about the path, um, a path that's being taken or wasn't. Interesting, wasn't taken wasn't taken for some of you it's about a path that wasn't taken fish is about money it just is it's about money it's about career it could also be about uh the flow of emotions and opening up of emotions i feel like it's money related though oh god we got the snake on the bottom snake is treachery time about the high priestess time over the high priestess for gemini the month of march 
Yep, now we got the man with the Ace of Cups. This is this is usually um, a masculine energy who's wealthy or has money, um, resources, like a King of Pentacles would. Yeah, I feel like it's secrets about this King's like financial standing or resources. And that's what's causing fighting. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Yeah. Tell me more about the High Priestess for Gemini for the month of March. Now we have the tree with the uh, seven of cups, usually confusion or options with the five here, change and pivoting. The tree is about family. It's also about health. Yeah, it's also about health. Some, this is definitely fighting over, over resources because someone's health is, is being kept a secret or like the true state of someone's health is being kept a secret. I, I, I feel that so strongly. God, this is, this is unfortunate. This is really unfortunate. Um, I feel like someone's health has been kept a secret. I can't shake that. Or someone's health was kept a secret and they might have passed on. And now it's like now there's arguments and bickering over the inheritance or maybe like why it was kept a secret in the first place. Over energy, we do have the well. 41, another five, another change, another pivot here. Uh, the well can be a couple things. It could be about deep diving, like what's really going on deep down inside or wishing well. Underneath that, we do have the mask. Yeah, this is secrets. This is secrets being kept about this King of Pentacles. That's what started the bickering. That's what started the fighting. And Gemini, I feel like you're this Empress energy and you're just like, I want nothing to do with this fighting anymore. Bubble. Bubble over. Oh, Geminis. All right, guys. Geminis, that was for you. Libra. Libra. God, that one bummed me out. I'm sorry, guys. That one really bummed me out. All right. So Libra, let's see what's going on with you. Libra, Libra, Libra. Yeah, you're very serious, Libra. You're very serious. I'm not going to take this because we just got started, but Kimba, I can't ever say that right. Kimbaba? Yeah, Kimbaba. <laughs> Kimbaba Jasper just came out. Oh, Libra, Libra, Libra. Well, crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March. Yeah, Libra, you're so serious right now. Um, well, crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March. Why are you so quiet? Well, crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March. Well, crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March. I just heard space. No, maybe you want your space too. Gemini's felt more like, you know, heart warmed about it, but you're feeling very like just serious about it. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys got Priscilla Bluestone too. <laughs> so for those of you who are new, I don't like to repeat the descriptions of the crystal. So Gemini had this, and I always time timestamp. So just go back to the Gemini timestamp if you want the description for this crystal here, okay? Libra, I also feel like you're frustrated. You might be trying to make sense of something, and in doing so, you're trying to hermit yourself to make sense of it. But you're frustrated. Let's see. Ooh, we got Shiva Lingam. So you got some integrating to do. You have some integrating to do, Libra. Integrating your masculine with your feminine energies here. Becoming a little bit more aligned. I feel like you're in a lot of masculine energy right now, which makes sense. Uh, we have, and I've talked about this for months now. So for those who are new, back in November, December, I was talking about uh, masculine energy going through a major transformation from December to like February, March-ish, where it was going through kind of a death process. Those who are not familiar with the term death process, it's just a major healing process where, you know, you kind of take a little trip down into a dark underworld place, you deal with your shit, you heal, and then you come out back into the light, having the rebirthing part from the death part process right so this time period is gonna have a lot of rebirthing reawakening energy for masculine energies and needing to integrate so libra you might just need the space to do that i can feel it you're frustrated what other crystals are good for my libras for the month of march oh i thought i heard a loud caw of a bird i was like maybe that's what i heard and i was like i don't know that was interesting 
probably confirmation for some of you. What other crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March? What other crystals are good for my Libras for the month of March? I just heard loyalty and then I saw a necklace. It looked very peculiar. It's a necklace I haven't seen before. It looked like it was made of stones, like rocks, like actual rocks. Like, and you know, like there are crystals that are made of like, you know, they're rocks, right? Like I, you know, here's a fossil, right? Like that's technically a rock. Um, but I was seeing, yeah, I was just seeing like dark rocks. That was, that a necklace was made of. I couldn't tell what kind of rocks. I just like, to me, I just was like rocks. What other crystals are good for my Libra? Some of the March. Oh, that's it. All right. So like I said, Priscilla Bluestone. Um, this was already talked about in Gemini. So go ahead and sit back to that timestamp if you want the description for this. Blue, uh, blue Priscilla Bluestone. Excuse me. It is Mercury retrograde. Now let's go ahead and read Shiva Lingam. Okay. A Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force. Be compassionate with yourself to heal. You have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being. Integrate these to release your creative power. A Shiva Lingam is produced from the tumbling, uh, from the tumbling waters. Life shapes you in the same way, so go with the flow. Soul scoring reveals your divine core. If you were hurt or abused, be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels. Get back to basics and put passion back into your life. Honor your libido and create a fire. Create balance. Expect a new relationship or revitalize an old one. Practice sexual magic. Cut ties where appropriate. Remember, you create the power of thought. Everything passes. In a turbulent time, unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the stones earthy and high. Great for the root, the sacral, and the highest crown. Activates the rise of kundalini energy. Great for Scorpios and for tantric union of opposites. Yeah, so Libra, it seems like you're spending time in the month of March kind of isolating yourself, recalibrating. You are frustrated here, but with these two stones, you're basically just getting aligned. You're getting aligned to not be frustrated, to see things clearly, to go about your go about your life. And it does require some healing because you are integrating, okay? Uh, so let's gonna pull some cards. All the noise. <laughs> I will not comment on the noise again, but, you know, just so many people around me. Okay, anyway, not your stuff. That's my stuff. All right, Libra. Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? So you guys are going to be pampering yourself too. I saw some spa days in there. Good for you. Ooh, queen of wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. I do feel like that's your energy, Libra. Just a little peek to have the king of wands there. Ooh, yeah, with the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, I, Libra, I feel like you're spending a lot of time alone. You might be spearheading. I just heard spearheading. You might be trying to plan something or spearhead something, but you've got to take the time to, to deal with this, Okay. You got to take the time to deal with that before you do that. Even in this picture, you're not looking all that pleased, okay? Queen of Wands energy is someone who's got a lot of fire. Um, that's someone who is very, like, leader-oriented, alpha. Also, someone who understands energy, understands manifestation, usually attracts a lot to them. And Libra, I do feel like you you, you will fall into this energy very nicely, but I don't think it's going to happen until you really get this stuff taken care of, okay? Some of you guys might have just gone through a breakup as well, just, like, noticing those cards here with a, someone who is a soulmate of yours or a true pair of yours um i just feel like separation and like very strong independent energy okay why do my libras need these crystals and it could be the separation took place a while ago it could be that too and that you're just getting around to doing the healing part of it why do my libras need these crystals in the month of march why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? One more. Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? Hmm. Now we got a King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. This is definitely another energy that I don't feel you're speaking with at the moment. For some, it's very fatherly. So for some of you, this could be an issue between, you know, 
some daddy issues, right? Just saying. Uh, but that Nine of Pentacles in reverse, it's not only is it instability, it's like this person, whoever this person is, they don't want to be single. That's what I'm actually getting really strong. They don't want to be single and they see how attractive you are, Libra. And I think that they might have their eye on you. But like I said, we saw that King of Wands before, right? So some of you have gone through a separation sometime in the last few months with someone or just decided that you were no longer going to deal with somebody. Uh, and now there's an energy here that's like, ooh, Libra, you're so attractive, but I'm not talking to Libra right now, but I want Libra. <laughs> and this could be someone completely different or it could be that same person that's like, I really want Libra back, okay? And I feel like you, even the way the cards laid out, you are very distant. You are very distant right now doing your own thing and you're you're doing some healing and integrating of your own and I can feel it. Like you don't really want any part of this right now. Why else do my Libras need these crystals in the month of March? Why else do my Libras need these crystals for the month of March? Why else do my Libras need these crystals in the month of March? Got one other card out here. Ooh, yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. There's a letting go happening here. I do feel like this is you actually integrating your energy, getting rid of some shit that doesn't belong in your being anymore. There's also a thing about power coming in here. Oh, Libras, interesting. Whether this is you or the other energy, I actually can't tell, but there's at least one energy. There's one of these energies. It, there's a struggle of power in the back of someone's head. Like they don't want to lose power. They don't want to lose the upper hand. They don't want to lose the advantage. That could be either one of you here. Okay. Cause I can feel you want nothing to do with this situation right now because you're too busy integrating and healing, being very independent on your own. Uh, and you're, I can feel the pushback. Hold on. I'm about to make it. All right, we're back. It always does that at like 46 minutes and some seconds. I don't know why, but it does anyway, but I can feel that pushback from this queen of wands energy. And Libra, I do feel like that's you. And it's just kind of like, I don't want to lose my power. I don't want to lose my, I, it, it's something about that. I don't want to lose my power. I don't want to, I don't want to be taken advantage of. I want to have the advantage. Either one of you could be feeling that, but my money's on you, Libra, because I can feel it. You want to be kind of just independent right now. Overall energy, we do have the six of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy underneath that. We deal with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, you're getting over some shit, Libra. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Oh, and look, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're dealing with issues of betrayal. You're dealing with wounds and healing around trust issues. Around trust issues. Maybe for some of you, it's even abandonment issues. But either way, you ain't so trusting right now. And someone's eyeing you. Whether it's the person from the past or it's a new person. It's going to be different for all of you. But either way, you're like... I'm working on this. <laughs> I'm working on these very painful emotions and shit. I don't know if I want to deal with you. Take care of yourself first. Right? Like that's honestly my advice. And I think you're already going to be doing that anyway. Just take care of yourself, heal your shit, integrate your shit, and then you can do whatever you want. But like being with someone right now while you're dealing with this, ew. That, that to me that's just a recipe for stress and drama and distraction okay and i think you already feel that way anyway libra okay all right guys i hope you guys found that insightful and helpful don't forget to check out uh patreon and vimeo and i will see you guys later have a really great march and a really great night namaste